It's me, Game Boy Dylan, and today I'm ha I have a tutorial for you guys. And this is not this is a tutorial on how to make a profile picture like mine. So as always, you want to make a new project with Control N, and you want to name it whatever you run, want. I'll call it Profile Picture, and then make sure it is 800 by 800 pixels. So now you've created your file. I like to double click to unlock this and then double click again to get to your blending options or you can just right click and press blending options. Next thing you want to do is go to color overlay and for my tutorial for my um, uh, back my profile picture I have like a lighter gray on the outside like that and then you want to make a new layer by pressing control shift and N and name it whatever you want. I'm not going to name it anything. But then, and then you want to select your square or rectangular marquee tool and hold shift and you can get a perfect square shape. So once you got your shape, you want to choose a color you want. It's going to, it's going to be darker than the one outside. So you don't want to make it too much darker, but just make it enough like that is good. And then press G on your keyboard. And if you have this gradient tool, just hold on it, and then you can go to your paint bucket tool, and then just click. There you go. And now what you can do is resize it, have it if you want. And if you want to deselect these, um, like these lines that are going around it, just press Control and D. Like you have to press Enter and then Control D like that. And for you Mac users, you just do Command D. At least that's what I think you do. Next up is resizing and other stuff. So you want to make it like a little bit smaller on the inside. And then what you want to do next is make a new layer. Whoops. <laughs> just make a new layer. And then use your your font of the font of your choice. And then I'm gonna put my famous G, not famous, but just my G, my logo. I know you can't see it, but um that's normal. Just go go to blending options, color overlay, and you can choose to put it like this. But I, um, we'll just do it like this. You can put it like that, and then after, just make sure to resize it so it's as big as you want. Um, there. Once you've done that, it's now about shading and not really shading, but what I mean by that is. You want to go onto your second layer, go to inner shadow, and you can see it makes this inner shadow. So it looks like it's like under this part here. And then you just want to play around with these. Um, there's not really like a perfect setting for this. It's just how I do it, and then distance. You can do whatever you want. So kind of like like that. I don't know. That seems good. And then with your G or whatever you put in here, you double click it and then you want to put a stroke. Oh no, no. <laughs> Sorry. You would put a inner shadow also. It'll just make it look pretty cool. Um, or, like you're not even forced to put it. I just put it because it looks kind of like it's not, it's not the best looking, but it's how I have my um, thing. So you want to keep it, you can you can put it or you don't put it. I'm not forcing you to, but then if you do, just don't forget, just put just a tiny bit of each. And not too much, like I would do all around one. It's probably the best, be you know. And then on the outside, your outside layer, you can do what you want. You can maybe do also an inner shadow and then, whoops, put your size a little bit. You can kind of play around with it, add a stroke, you know, well, you don't see anything. Or bevel and emboss is also a pretty good um, tool you could, um, like setting you could use. You can change the size and I like to soften it almost all the way, about like that. And there you go. And then what you want to do later is just save it 
And there you go, you're done with your logo. I think I'm gonna save this one and use this one instead of my other one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't liked the video if you liked it. And have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.